Hey, this is Dr. Heimers in my office. 这是海罗博士在我办公室里。S C S Dr. Heimers in the office. Now I am going to talk to you in just in English. 现在请你用英文告诉大家一件事儿。Le hablaré solamente en inglés. But we'll be back in just a few minutes、uh, to preach the sermon, and that'll be in English and Spanish and Chinese as always. 再过一会儿呢，我们讲到的时候就是用三种语言了：中文、英文、西班牙语。Pero regresaremos en unos minutos para predicar el sermón y será en inglés, español y chino como siempre. So keep watching. Sí, 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 mirando. Now at the top of your screen is an address where you can write to get these two books. We're offering these two books, one by Dr. Kagan and one by me, and two books for the price of one.、Uh, this is Dr. Kagan's book from Darwin to Design. It is a book on、uh, showing the Untenable nature, the the falseness of、uh, of the、uh, theory, Darwinian theory of evolution, and、uh, he does a fine job. Dr. Kagan has a Ph.D. in mathematics from、uh, UCLA, and he has written this wonderful book. I helped him a little bit、uh, with the English of it, and、uh, Dr. Henry M. Morris,、uh, the、uh, founder of the Institute, the Institute for Christian Research, said. It's a delight to read, and Dr. D. James Kennedy said a word of warning to those who may pick up this book by chance: you most likely will not be able to put it down. Darwin to Design shows how Dr. Kagan, a staunch atheist, gradually began realizing that the laws governing the universe are too precise to point to anything but intelligent design by God. I want you to have this book. And I want you to have this one as well. This one is my autobiography. It's called "Against All Fears." Dr. Kagan wrote on the back, "You will laugh, you will cry, it will encourage you when you're ready to give up." Dr. Paige Patterson, the president of Baptist、uh, of Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, said, "Read this book, and you will be blessed." This is my autobiography, and it's quite a book.、Uh, It's got photographs of me with everybody from Richard Nixon to、uh, Billy Graham, and I met some real,、uh, some real heavy Christians in my, in my day, as the hippies would say. And this is my life story: Moish Rosen, Jews for Jesus,、uh, Patrick Buchanan, Dr. Bob Jones Jr.,、uh, uh, Richard Nixon, uh, uh, President Reagan, with,、uh, pictures with me, and I met these great men: Dr. W. A. Criswell. Dr. Robert L. Sumner and、uh, Dr. John R. Rice, Dr. Richard Rembrandt,、uh, Dr. Bill Bright, and Dr. Jerry Falwell. These are some of the men that I've met, Billy Graham, over the years, and Francis Schaeffer. And I want you to have this book. It's my unvarnished uh, and uh, truthful autobiography. How. I came up as a as a as a boy,、uh, a virtual orphan, and how I I came into the ministry, and failed as a missionary. But now I'm pastor of the only independent fundamental Baptist church in downtown Los Angeles. You will this book will you will blow you away. It's called Against All Fears. A frightened boy overcame incredible obstacles and became an inspiration to millions. I'm going to send you both these books. I believe you need them. Uh, you will read them yourself, and if you're a pastor, you'll teach these books to your young people. They're tremendous books. This one is on uh, uh, showing the fallacies, the unreliability of, of Darwinian evolution. This one is my、um, autobiography, how I became a Christian, and uh, uh, and I'm responsible for preaching these sermons all over the world. These books would sell for twenty-five dollars each if you bought them in a bookstore. We're letting you have both of them for twenty-five dollars, and that includes postage. Write to me, Dr. R. L. Heimers Jr. Dr. Heimers H. Y. M. E. R. S. at the address on the top of the screen, Post Office Box One Five Three Zero Eight, Los Angeles, California Nine Zero Zero One Five. Make a check out to、uh, the Baptist Tabernacle of Los Angeles. Or to Dr. R. L. Heimers Jr. Either way, it'll get to me, and we'll send you both these books. This is a fifty-dollar、uh, uh, uh, 
$50 offer, you'll get a, both of them for $25. That includes shipping. So please write to us. Now we're going into the service, which is now underway. And uh, uh, God bless you for watching. My word have I hid in my heart That I might not sin against thee Say it now! Thy heart I not sin That I might not sin Thy word have I hid in my heart Amen! Welcome to the Baptist Tabernacle on Saturday Night Bible Study. Now, I'm going to give you a sheet in just a moment here. Doctor, take this. Uh, and uh, it will say on the sheet, you may not believe it, but you, it will say on the sheet, uh, a Bible memorization, uh, that's what the title is here, Meditating on the Bible will stop all church splits. Absolutely true. Every church split, the, every, everyone in, in the whole country and every church, every church split would stop if people would meditate on the Bible. Now let's just take one place in the Bible. The book of Ephesians. Si la gente meditara sobre la Biblia, pararía todo quebrantamiento de iglesia. Mira, por ejemplo, el libro de Efesios. Church splits are caused by people not who do not believe or do not uh, meditate on the Word of God. Now just look at this one little book, the book of Ephesians. Uh, uh, it's got uh, six chapters. And look what it has in it here. Chapter 4, verse 26. Stand up and read it. No, no, just one of you. Uh, you. You stand up and read it. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Now, so, just a half of that verse. If people would practice a half of that verse, let not the sun go down on your wrath, there would never be a church split. Amen. Just that one verse. How could, how could there be? They let the sun go down on their wrath, and they talk and twiddle, and, 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 and um, Matthew Kuhn said, I didn't know we were going to start a church split. I didn't mean to. We were just having a fellowship and talking bad about the pastor. Well, there you go. Guy's been in the ch two churches, three church splits, and he doesn't know that a few people getting together and talking bad about the pastor will cause a church split. He let the sun go down on his wrath, and that's one of the reasons we had a church split. Uh, uh, also, uh, Dr. Chan, bitter and angry at me, and keeps it inside and lets the sun go down on his wrath for 40 years, finally comes out and just almost destroyed our church. All right, now let's uh, look at another verse. Uh, chapter 4, verse 32. Chapter 4, verse 32. Quan Tham, stand up and read it good and loud. 4, verse 32. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. How could you ever have a church split if people, uh, if people meditated on that verse? You couldn't, could you? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. If the people meditate on this, they will not have a church split. Okay. Verse 30. Uh, verse. Uh, uh, Chapter 4, verse 32. Verse 32. Chapter 4, verse 32. Verse 32. Chapter 4, 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 verse 32. Abel Jr., stand up and turn around and read that verse. Verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Now, if people, uh, if people meditated on that verse, could you have a church split? Impossible. Impossible. Right. Chapter 4, 14 to 16. 
如果我们在背诵这些经文，不断的沉思这些经文。Now Dr. Chan read, read through the Bible at least 43 times. He read, he read every one of those verses at least 43 times, and it, it, none of it stuck in his head. Why? Because he didn't stop to think about it. It doesn't do any good to read the Bible quick. Dr. Chen leyó esos versos 43 veces, pero la cosa es que no le ayudó porque lo lee rápido, no te ayudó eso. I remember when John Kennedy came up with what he called speed reading. 我还记得肯尼迪当时约翰肯尼迪讲的速读。Me recuerdo cuando John Kennedy habló de leer rápido. Is this, uh, is this uh, uh, decaf? Yes. Okay, thank you. And that is, he could take a book, because he was a very smart fella, but he could take a book and he'd go like this. And then he could tell you about it, but it didn't do him any good. Yeah, sure, he read the Bible that way. He had naked girls in his swimming pool in the White House. Didn't do him any good, did it? He went to hell when he was shot. Go ahead. Yeah, he did. Just because he was able to read the Bible, but he didn't remember the Bible. He was shot in the Holy Spirit. He was in hell. Finally, he died. Okay, John Kennedy puede leer muy rápido de decirte que leyó. La cosa de que no le ayudó con la muchacha desnuda en la piscina en la Casa Blanca fue el infierno cuando murió. I'm reading 16 books right now on redoing churches. I don't do not speed read them. I do I never speed read anything that's important. I might speed read. I can speed read the the newspaper, but that's not important. Go ahead. 但是要读报纸可以速读，但圣经还有些重要的书不能速读。Todo el mundo dice seis libros sobre de cómo de empezar una nueva iglesia y es muy importante lo leo despacio. Yo sí lo leo rápido, pero algo como el periódico que no importa. Some people get in a hurry and they speed read the Bible, and, and you could, I, I guess, Dr. Chan sped, speed read the Bible forty three times and it didn't do him any good because it, you have to meditate on it, you have to think about it. Doctor Chen no le ayudó leer la Biblia porque tienes que meditar, tienes que pensar de ella. I wonder how Waldrop could be so mean, and uh, uh, he's supposed to preach the Bible, he's supposed to be a Bible expositor. Does he read the Bible and think about it? I'd rather have a man read two verses every day and think about them than to read five chapters in the Old Testament, three in the New, and not think about them. 我请问一个人能够读两节经文，用心思考一下，也不要他读五章书不去不想。Pero pero tener un hombre de que lea dos versos y piensa de ellos, de que uno que lea el capítulo entero y no piensa de nada. Look how many sermons I squeezed out of Matthew 24:11 and 12. 你看马太福音二十四章十一到十二节里面我讲多少次？ Mira cuando se muere saque de Mateo 24 versos 11 y 12. False prophets shall arise and deceive many, because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold, and I preach. You've heard me preach five or six, seven, eight, nine sermons on those. That's what I like. These guys that take two or three chapters and call it an expository sermon, nobody remembers what they talked about. The Puritans were much smarter and Spurgeon. They preached on two or three verses at the most, usually one, sometimes half a verse, and they drove it in. 他们这个清教徒就讲一节经文或者半节经文，而且讲得很深透。Yeah, los puritanos y los virgen eran muy inteligentes, pero dedicaban dos o tres versos y lo forzaban. The uh, Schofield Bible Church in uh, Dallas, Texas, uh, popularized so-called expository sermons. That is where they take a chapter or twelve verses or fifteen verses and do a running commentary on it, and they say. That is what the churches are supposed to do today. 
，他们这打德就是德州那里面德克萨斯州，要用这个呃解解经式这个宣道，那么一节一张书或者是十几节经文讲啊，罗一个宣道根本就对人没有帮助。Los de Adelas de Hasa toman diecisiete, diecisiete versos y hablan de eso pensando como que es lo que se tiene que hacer. I I heard a very famous Bible expositor do an expository sermon on the first chapter of First Thessalonians. If I gave his name, everybody would know it. 有知名那么宣道师讲到了《铁三罗叫前书》在里面就整章出了么解经式的宣道。Oye un famoso de que explica la Biblia dice dijera de quién es todos los bancos de ver. I don't like what he says about the blood of Christ. But on on many other subjects, he's very good. But I heard him. My wife and I heard him for an hour and over an hour talking on the whole chapter of First Thessalonians chapter one, and I could Second Thessalonians chapter one. I beg your pardon. And I could I could not for the life of me. I've been and I've been hearing sermons for six for sixty five years. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out what he was talking about. I still don't know what he was talking about. This famous preacher talked about the Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse one. And he gave a sermon for an hour and a half. I didn't know what he was talking about. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. I heard him for an hour and a half. Estoy escuchando usted hablando usted dice que están en otro país. Most of these books on church growth tell you the first thing you got to do. Well, the first thing you got to do is pray, and they're right about that. The second thing is you got to preach long expository sermons on fifteen or twenty verses. I can't they figure out they've been doing that now, ever since C. I. Schofield, in about nineteen hundred, and the churches have become apostate in that period of time. When they've been preaching expository sermons on many verses, the church has become thoroughly apostate. So it didn't work. Give it up. Go back to the Puritans and preach on one or two verses. This kind of preaching is just to keep us from the Puritans. It's 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 just to keep us from the Puritans. And you say, boy, he preached a great sermon. But what did he say? Well, I'm not sure, but it was great. I think expository sermons have killed preaching. Have killed preaching. But the expositions of the sermons have really killed the preaching. So, what did the expositions of the sermons have killed the preaching? Well, I want to talk about this, and there's 15 verses on it. Well, pick out the main verse and talk about that. Talk about this, and when the people go home, they might remember it. Well, pick out the main verse and talk about that, and when the people go home, they might remember it. Not to remember fifteen verses, just to meditate on the Bible. 必须要沉思默想，讲讲圣经里面讲的这个言辞，背诵下来，思考一下。La gente no se va a recordar de esos quince versos, todo el verso que es importante y predica en eso. That's one of my hobby horses. Bob Jones Sr. called it a hobby horse. Preaching on one verse or two verses or half a verse is way better than preaching on fifteen verses because nobody can remember it. I can't remember it. I can't remember it. I can't remember it. I have enough trouble remembering one verse, much less fifteen of them. 一节经文，我都讲起来都好像完全记不住，更不要讲数。Problemas recordando me quince versos. None of the men in the New Testament that preached, not one time did they preach an so-called expository sermon. 在这新约里面，没有一个人他们讲的就十几节经文解经式宣道。Nothing New Testament but the call said more the exposition. The great sermon that Peter preached on Pentecost was not an expository sermon. It was a topical sermon. Peter, Peter, 讲的也就是一个题材，一节经文。The grand sermon that Peter called on Pedro in Pentecost was not topical. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository sermon. Paul's sermon on Mars Hill was not an expository Y tienes que escuchar porque si no va a entrar en un oído y sale por el otro. A person could go to church for a hundred years. 
Puede ser la iglesia por 100 años. Olivia de Havilland, great movie star in the uh, silver screen era in the 1930s and 40s, Ma made many movies with Errol Flynn. Olivia de Havilland, the star of, what is it, that uh, movie about the South? Gone with the Wind. That's her. She turned 103 about four days ago. 103. Now, if Olivia de Havilland went to church every Sunday for 103 years and didn't listen to the sermon, what's the use of going? Olivia de Havilland, now 104 years old, if she went to every Sunday, every week, every week, she didn't listen to the sermon, what's the use of going? Olivia de Havilland, now 104 years old, Olivia de Havilland hizo la película, tiene 104 años, hizo la película que, que se fue con el viento y la cosa es que Sidney se ha ido todos esos años a la iglesia perdido yendo al infierno. You have to think about the Bible verses, you have to think about the sermon, and if you don't think about it, don't no use to come to church, stay home. 必须要思考一下你所听的、所讲他们的牧师讲，如果不听的话，你要不去思考。不多回，还在家里边待着好了。Tiene que pensar de los sermones y si no puedes pensar de esto, entonces para qué sirve? Now, Dr. Kagan and some of these boys are going to give you the 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 sermon for tonight. Now we're going to do something different. Instead of giving it to you at the end, I'm giving it to you at the beginning, and we'll look through it. Uh, now, this is the sermon. I usually give you this at the end, but nobody reads it, so we're I'm going to make you read it at the beginning. And you still won't. A lot of you won't remember it. 回去你们就不读了。Lo voy a dar al principio para que lo leas. There is, the preacher will work on a sermon and 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 and, and beautifully alliterate it and and, and illustrate it and uh, exegete the verses and wonderful. It doesn't do any good if uh, Olivia de Havilland went for 103 years to church from a little baby till now. It wouldn't do her a bit of good in 103 years. Why? Because you have to be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. <coughs> okay, how much, how much long is this going to take? Half an hour? Why does it take so long? I don't get it. Just, it's just one piece. All right, now look at the front. Page 1281. Turn to 1281 in, in your Schofield Bible. Oh. Some people say, why do you give the page number in the Schofield Bible? I'll tell you why. We have new people coming to church. If you have the same old crowd there all the time, they'll, they'll, pretty soon they'll get, can figure out where the places are in the Bible. When you have new people coming in, you've got to tell them a page number. I learned that from Jack Hiles. Now, Jack Hiles wasn't wrong on everything. He was very smart on some things. 我从 Jack House 那里学到了如何就是讲找到这一些经文上面几页上面，那里边有很多新来的朋友，他们不知道几几页。Cuando hay nuevo tiene que enseñarle dónde está la página Jack House y su eso, aunque era equivocado mucho era correcto en eso. I didn't like him very much, but I, but he was smart on some things. Two things I learned from Jack House. He said, be sure to paint the inside of your sanctuary bright yellow. I've never never preached in a room that wasn't painted bright yellow. Why? Well, look at Waldorf. He's got a painted light, a light uh, green, bluish green, light, very soft, pale. And you go in there, and you feel like you're in a nice box, and you go to sleep. Jack Hiles was smarter than John Waldorf. He said, "Paint the the walls yellow, and the people will wake up when they come in. It's bright yellow. It's like the sun. It wakes you up, doesn't it?" So, you, and the other thing I learned from just two things. Jack Hiles decía pinta las paredes amarillo porque despierta, no como el Waldrop que lo tiene de blanquito con azul que te hace dormir. Waldrop paints a paints the walls in his church kind of a baby blue, and then turns a turns the the heater all the way up. People are going and sleeping. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Waldrop, Moshe, he made the church in the church by by this whole wall, this church room, he painted it green, so it's very easy to sleep. Waldrop tiene las paredes como azulito claro de la calentador puesto y la gente durmiendo. Dr. Heil said, turn, make the room cold. That wakes people up. Make it hot and that puts them to sleep. Smart. Heil dijo de Not que very spiritual, but pretty smart. El cuarto frío para que la gente despierte. So Check. everybody listened to Jack Heil's church. Why? Because the room is bright yellow and it's cool in there. 
So Jack Howe 告诉我们，把这个温度要降低一些，那些人就不会睡着。La gente escuchaba Jack Howe porque la pared era amarilla de y el cuarto frío. I had gone to churches where they had it so hot, I, I felt like standing up and saying, "Preacher, turn the darn heat down so you'll go to sleep." But I didn't do it. 有时候我这么在礼拜中间。My wife is glad I didn't do it. But many churches do that. They have it so hot that ah,、oh, what's the point? Now the whole point of going to church is to hear. Listen to the sermon and remember what something from it. Doctor Lin said, if people can take a little piece home from the sermon, it will help them over a period of time. But most people take nothing home from it. 去教会听讲道就是能够记住某一段一个经文或者带一部分经文带回家。La cosa de que hoy la iglesia donde he querido decir sube a baja el calentador, pero no tiene que estar frío para que puedas tomar algo para la casa para que escuches. Now we are looking at Second Timothy chapter three. Timothy, Holy Spirit, three. Miramos el segundo Timoteo capítulo tres. Verses sixteen and seventeen. Sixteen and seventeen. Verses 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 sixteen and seventeen. For instruction in righteousness, 教导人学艺都是有益的 But instructing justicia, that the man of God may be perfect, 教属神的人得以完全 A fin de que el hombre de Dios sea perfecto, truly furnished unto all good works, 预备行各样的善事 Tremente preparado para toda buena obra. Now, there are three words that B. B. Warfield used, and to Charles Hodge used, to describe this verse. B B F 还有这个 Charles Hodge 有三个字啊，三个词描述这些经文。Hay tres palabras de cada que se usaba para describir esto. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. 这个圣经都是都是神所默示的。Toda la escritura es inspirada por Dios. What are the three words? Say it. You don't. Okay, you heard me say it twice. You didn't remember. What's the point of coming to my house on Tuesday night? I've gone over this and over this and over that. What What are the three words? Yeah, good. Plenary verbal inspiration. That's what this verse teaches. These verses teach us that from the beginning to the end, the words are inspired. All right, look up and learn a new word. It's pirada, respirada, y ada útil. Plenary. That means all of the Bible from the beginning to the end. From Genesis to Revelation. Look up, please. You don't know this. 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 Yeah, 经文都是词句。Plenary verbal. What does verbal mean? Words. That's right. Toda la palabra de. That was easy. I said words, and you said words back. Good. That's good. That gets it in your head、uh, before the Alzheimer's takes over. All right.、Um, plenary means all through the Bible. Ver verbal means the words. All the words are given by. God's breath by God, by inspiration of God. So the Bible is not now. Look up, please. 圣经的言辞从头至尾都是神所呼出。The Bible is not like any other book you read. 圣经不像你读的任何书。La Biblia no es como cualquier otro libro que lees. And I think this is terribly important. I just showed you, if people read and thought about, read slowly and thought about. Several verses in the Book of Ephesians. There could never be a church split, and church splits are killing Baptist churches all over the all over America and all over the world. Because they don't believe the words, I don't think about the words. 我刚才已经从以弗所书里面指出，那几节经文，如果他们真正能默想这节经文的话，就不会有教会分裂了。Por causa de que la gente no piensa o cree las palabras, hay quebrantamiento de iglesia todo a través del mundo. I've been reading a little book called The History of Evangelical Theology. 
我知道读一本小书，就是福音派他们神学理论的历史。Tú leyendo un libro de la historia de la teología del evangelio. And I'll tell you what it is. 我告诉你内容。Te digo que es. It's the history of apostasy. 也就是就背离到反教的历史。It's the history of apostasy. Now the fellow that wrote it got a PhD, but that doesn't mean too much. It means he's an educated fool, maybe. 作者有的这博士学。Person can have a PhD and not know anything, you know. Your report. I mean. That you can buy a PhD for about fifty dollars from some of these places, but、uh, the PhD is only good if the man has learned how to study. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, you can have a PhD. If you have learned how to study, I read his. I read. He's a professor of theology there, and I read his little book, The History of Evangelical Theology. Starts out with people believing the Bible, ends up with them not believing the Bible, ends up with process theology. You don't need to know what it means because they don't know what it means. Baylor, this university, this author, talked about them. From the beginning, from believing in the Bible, to the end, to still believing the Bible, the whole process of turning to the Evangelical. Baylor no se está yendo de el liberal es liberal y la cosa de que el libro de este profesor habla de cómo creer la Biblia entonces ya no lo creen. It starts off with men like Augustine and men like Calvin and men like Luther, and it winds up with guys like Clark Pinnock that don't know which end their tail is on. You don't need to know about it. It's just they don't believe anything now. And, it, and they're. Clark Pinnock is actually better than some of them. 而且现在 Clark Pinnock 比他们其他人还好。Y la cosa de que antes empezaron con Agustín que querían y ahora Pinnock de que no lo creen. What's that guy's name? John Cobb? Is that it? Yeah. Was that his name? John Cobb? I think so. I witnessed to him. I said, I gave him a present when Dr. Kagan graduated from the school out there, Claremont Graduate School. I gave him a Bible, and I said.、Uh, Uh, John Cobb. Now you know what I'm talking about. You must be born again, because he started out like so many of them as a fundamentalist and wound up with process theology. It sounds great. It's, it's oh my goodness, process theology. Nobody knows what it is, including the guy that that teaches it. It's just mumble, mumbo jumbo, and they get paid、uh, a good salary for teaching something that doesn't mean anything. And I thought to myself as I was reading these different fellows,、uh, like uh, uh, the best one is Carl F. H. Henry. He wasn't too bad. He was half fundamentalist and half New Evangelical.、Uh, not too bad. But then Edward John Carnell, Carnell、uh, committed suicide, and was a liberal. And uh, then uh, it comes through a man, a man named Bloch and a, a man named Clark Pinnock.、It、comes down to the end. They don't know what to believe. Now you might as well go on out on the street and ask some guy,、uh, some wino, or drug addict on the street, what do you think about God? He'd probably tell you better, probably tell you more truth than Clark Finnick. Doctor David Wells is, a, I like him.、Uh, he's, an, in, he's a new evangelical, but he's a professor of, of、uh, theology at Gordon Conwell School of、uh, Theology in、uh, Massachusetts. And he's written a book called "Whatever Happened to"? No, wait. What he wrote a book called? What was it called, Doctor? No place for truth. No place for truth. The end. Well, the, it's about how the evangelicals have given up the Bible. Go ahead. 讲到了新福音派如何放弃了圣经，放弃了真理。Doctor Wells has written a book called "What Happened to Us"? The evangelicals have given up the Bible. Go ahead. Doctor Wells has written a book called "What Happened to Us"? The evangelicals have given up the Bible. I, I read the whole thing the other night. It's about 150 pages, and it, it it starts off with men that believed the Bible and were willing to die for the Bible, and ends up with a guy like Clark Pinnock. It's got open. God doesn't know what's going to happen in the future, and uh, so uh, uh, and everybody's going to go to heaven, even to Hitler and so on.、Uh, just foolishness. They have given up the Bible and they have become fools. 他们一开始是相信圣经、原教旨主义者，到最后变成了现在是一个过程主义，叫 process， 就他们这根本不知道讲些什么。讲到最后呢，人人都可以进天国，包括希特勒
Empezó con gente que creía en la Biblia, de que están dispuestos a morir por la Biblia, y ahora ha cambiado a gente que no cree en la Biblia, de que son tontos. Why is that important? ¿Por qué es eso importante? Because the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, because he cannot know them, for they are spiritually discerned. When they look at the Bible, they can't figure it out. El hombre natural no puede entender las cosas de Dios porque son descendidas espiritualmente. But they want to have a salary, so they go ahead and teach something that they don't understand, and they know they don't understand it. I'm going to tell you something. I am never again, ever again, never going to recommend Biola University to a young man studying for the ministry. I will never recommend it again. Why? Well, because they're, they're not fundamentalists. That's why. And they teach it kind of a little, let's teach a little bit of this guy, a little bit of that guy, to make it look good. And the kids all come out of there confused. They don't know what to talk about. They don't know what to preach. I went to the most liberal school po uh, uh, seminary possible. It couldn't be any worse. Well, maybe it could. They didn't, they didn't sacrifice babies on a, on a hot iron. I didn't know any better. I had to go to the school because I didn't have any money to go to to, 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 to I'm glad I didn't go to tell, but it would have ruined me. It was better to go to a liberal school because I knew I was in enemy territory. Now John Kagan is graduating from Talbot Seminary and he's been confused by it. I went to a very liberal seminary and I was not confused by it. I went to a seminary where they tore the Bible to shreds in every class and didn't confuse me a bit. John Kagan está graduando del seminario por la cosa de que lo confundió. Yo fui a un seminario liberal y no me confundió. One guy in, in the seminary, studying in the seminary, said, Doc, he said, Bob Heimers, why don't you learn what they teach you? Why, do you? why are you always fighting against it? I said, I didn't come here to learn. I came here to teach. He said, what do you mean? I said, I would never have come here to learn anything because I knew it was liberal. I came here to be a witness for the Bible. Amen. Amen. I, I'm, I'm pretty smart, so I, I made it B plus or A minus average. And, uh, but I sure didn't, let, I didn't believe anything they said about the Bible. Yo fui bastante inteligente, yo conseguí a B a más o a menos en el seminario, pero la cosa es que yo no fui confundido por nada que ellos hicieron. No vine a aprender, vine a ser testigo por la Biblia para enseñar. Now this clown that teaches theology at Baylor University, uh, you know all the way through that he's a liberal. He just lets you know. He never says a good word about anybody that believes the Bible, and he lauds just, oh, he just genuflex before Barth and Brunner and those unbelievers. And what's wrong with the churches? The main thing that's wrong with the churches is the preachers don't believe the Bible. Not because they learned it in seminary. Naturally, man doesn't believe the Bible. The man's nature doesn't believe the Bible. Why? Because it's God breathed. It's the Word of God, and they're against the Word of God because they're unconverted people. And unconverted people cannot understand the Word of God and cannot appreciate it. No entienden la palabra de Dios porque no son convertidos y no lo pueden agradecer. Now, 
My longtime pastor, Dr. Lynn, Dr. Timothy Lynn, very brilliant man, uh, taught in the graduate department of Bob Jones University, taught at Talbot Seminary in the Old Testament department, taught at uh, Greenville, or I beg your pardon, uh, Trinity Evangelical Seminary in um, Illinois. And he said, quote, the church of the last days, right there you know he's a fundamentalist, 所以我长期的牧师领导两博士这样指出末日中的教会从此知道他是原教旨主义者 Bible rejecting liberals don't believe we're in the last days 末日中讲起了，要知道真正拒绝圣经的自由派，不相信我们进入末日了。You read anything that Dr. Lin wrote, and he's constantly saying the Church of the Last Days in these last days. He knows we're in the last days. Why? Because he believes the Bible. 正是因为林道亮相信圣经，所以他知道我们现在在末日。le lo que la dice acerca de la iglesia en los últimos días por causa de que ahí estamos. Es on page two. My longtime pastor, Dr. Timothy, Timothy Lin, said this. Put your finger on the where I'm talking. Page two. The, he said, quote, The church of the last days must have the presence, the presence of God if she wants to grow. 这样林道亮博士指出末日中的教会若要想成长他必须拥有神的同在 La iglesia de los últimos días debe de tener la presencia de Dios si quiere crecer Why does he call the church she? Because the church is the bride of Christ Feminine 教会当作女性呢 因为教会就是一个新娘 Porque dice la porque es femenina la esposa de Jesús The church must have the presence of God if she wants to grow 如果想成长的话必须要有神同在 La iglesia tiene que tener la presencia de Dios si quiere crecer. Or all efforts will be futile. 否则一切的努力都是徒劳. Porque si no todos los esfuerzos serán inútiles. Unquote. Now, look up please. We've had a couple of times when, when, when the Spirit of God was here in the services. But not many. And uh, pitifully few. We've never had a revival here. We could have. Came right to the edge of it. We had a, t a little taste of revival one night, I think, maybe two nights. But we've never had God's presence in this church, and you know why. Bottom of page two, I said, because we did not as a church do everything that the Bible commands. Turn to Joshua chapter 1, page 259, Schofield Bible 259. Dr. Lin gave two points from Joshua chapter 1. To have the presence of God in the church. Dr. Lin dio dos puntos para tener la presencia de Dios en la iglesia. Point 1 is in verse 7. Do what the Bible says. Read it, uh, Abel. Stand up and read it. Turn it No, no, Abel Sr. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand. All the law. That's a synonym for the Bible. Go ahead. Which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Okay. So point one, if you want the presence of God, do what the Bible says. I just showed you a bunch of things in the book of Ephesians, which uh, uh, the apostate Chan and Walter uh, don't, didn't do. And so they caused a church split. Very simple. 
Haz lo que dice la Biblia, medita de Let him translate first. 若要真正想得到神的同在,一定要照圣经所吩咐的办事. Haz lo que dice la Biblia, da, y uh, medita lo que dice, uh, dice la Biblia. You have to come in, doctor. Yes, sir. He, he, he jumps over you. He thinks I'm going to cut him off. I won't cut you off, but I, I want him to be first. And you second. It gives you a little time to think about it. Now, the problem is with those people, every one of them rebelled against the Bible. But every single person that left. You said he had to have a time to fight. Pun. Rebelled so against the Bible. I gave the Bible verses. That's about all I did. And they got mad at me and said, oh, he's too mean. All I was giving him was Romans 16, 17, and 18, and uh, 1 Corinthians 1, 10. Same verses, same verses. And they were furious at me. Oh, he's a terrible man. Why? Because they hate the word of God. Why do they hate the word of God? Because they hate God. Ellos odiaban la palabra de Dios, por eso no escucharon a Romanos de 16, versos 17 y 18. Por eso tuvimos quebrantamientos. Now, I want to tell you something, young people. A good Christian, a good Christian never participates in a church split. Never. Why? Because it's against the Bible. I've been through oh, six or five or six church splits. So you know what I always do? I always side with the pastor. Even if he's wrong, why? Because even if, the, even if the pastor is a little bit wrong, the people that are splitting off of the church are terribly wrong. Los que hacen el quebrantamiento de están en contra pastor contra la Biblia y están equivocados. Okay. So the first thing Dr. Lin said was do what the Bible says. Second thing is meditate on what the Bible says. Read verse 8. Uh, Dora, I'm glad you is everything okay? You got back okay? All right. God bless you. All right, Mrs. Cook, stand up and read verse 8. The budget. Capitulo 1, verse 8 of Josué. Joshua 1, 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Okay, so Dr. Lin said, go ahead, go ahead. 总要昼夜思想，好好，好使你们谨守这律法书上所写的一切的话，如此你们的道路就可以亨通，凡事顺利。Nunca se apartará de tu boca de este mi libro de de la ley, sino que de día y noche meditarás en él para que de no de peques. Okay, so Dr. Lin said to have God's presence, do what the Bible says, and meditate on the Bible. So, Lin Dao Liang, not only did he give two commandments. Medita lo que dice la Biblia. Go ahead, Mr. Song. You yeah. got you got to jump out. Stand yeah. up. Maybe that'll help you. You're you're falling behind. Medita de lo que dice la Biblia. You'll have to have the microphone. I don't think it'll record if it's if it, you have to use the microphone, doesn't it? Yes. yes. You have to have the microphone in front of you. Now, then I gave you James one twenty-two. Don't turn to it. Didn't say to turn to it. Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. 只是你们要行道，不单不啊，不要单单听到自己欺哄自己。Pero se dos dos de la palabra no tan solamente oidores. Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. So we've got three kids here that that. Pero se dos dos de la palabra y no tan solamente oidores. That are hearers only, but they don't really hear. They're, they're Sandemanians, and we preach against Sandemanianism right to them. And the next time, when they come forward to be counseled, they do the same thing again. Sandemanian, Sandemanian. Why? Because your soul depends on not doing it. Your soul, the, the, for your soul to escape from hell, you've got to stop doing it. But you won't do it. Why? Because you don't listen and you don't obey what the Bible says. Hay tres jóvenes acá, son de minanistas, de que no escuchan lo que se les dice, tienen que escuchar para ser salvos. Turn over to page four. 
top of the page. To do what the Bible says, we must meditate on the words of the Bible. Look up, please. Why am I going back over this again? Because you don't get it. See, if, if, you, if you actually believe that the Bible is God, this is God speaking to us, and then you, and then you think about it and, and turn it over in your mind and try to figure it out, and God will show it to you. The entrance of thy word giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple, says in Psalm 119. 如果你真相信这是神的道的话，是神讲出呼出的言辞的话，你会用心去读了。Yo says the top of page four, to do what the Bible says, we must meditate on the words of the Bible. 为了照圣经内的教导办事，我们必须要沉思默想圣经的话。Para ser lo que dice la Biblia, tenemos que meditar la palabra de la Biblia. Look at Dr. Lin said. Many times, right after reading the Bible, we forget what we just read. Doctor Lin dijo que muchas veces después de que leemos se nos olvida lo que acabamos de leer. Look up, please. Same thing is true of the sermons. I have a bunch. Of, I have a group of boys and then a group of girls that come to my house on Tuesday night, and I'll ask them what's the sermon, and they'll say, "Well, it was about this." Tell me something else. Well, I can't. I, don't remember. I thought they just wanted to know. They'll tell me. They'll say, you talked about the Bible. Well, what did I say about the Bible? They don't remember. So why? They weren't listening. It wasn't important. Our position is not a fool's position. Dr. Kirsop Lake was a professor of church history at the, the um, Great, uh, liberal school in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, what's it called? Chicago Divinity School. And Dr. Kersop Lake said, um, we, we laugh, he's a liberal uh, himself. Then, uh, he said, we laugh at the fundamentalists. We say why their position is obscurantist and so on. He said, but it's not. He said they hold the exact position of the early church and the church throughout the ages, and we don't. It's a famous quotation from a liberal admitting that his position is not the same as the early church or the churches through the ages. El profesor Blake dijo, admitiendo de que los fundamentalistas tienen el pensamiento de, los, de la iglesia a principio y la iglesia a través de las edades, y los liberales no lo tienen. I heard a man talking on the television the other night, and he said, uh, he's a nice guy, he's an agnostic, he's Jewish, and uh, he's written a book defending Christianity. It's a very interesting man, he's very intelligent. What's his name, Dr. Horowitz? David Horowitz, I loved hearing him. Because he, he says, an agnostic is, I don't know. Atheist is a form of religion, but an agnostic, I don't know. And, but he defends Christianity because he says, without Christianity, we wouldn't have a country. That's right. David Horowitz, David Horowitz is uno agnostico, dice que no sé si Dios existe o no, es judío, pero sí defiende la cristiandad porque dice sin la cristiandad no tendríamos país. And he said, um, this is on Tucker Carlson tonight. I like Tucker Carlson. He's a, a really good guy on Fox News, sharp guy. And um, so Horowitz said, um, Where did we get these ideas? Uh, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. He said, that's a Christian thought. That comes from Christianity. Without Christianity, you can't have. So what's happening with the Democratic Party now? 
Well, yeah, it's really a mess, isn't it? What's happening with the Democratic Party now is it's becoming um, a sec a completely secularized. That means they get, they're, they're against, they've turned against Christianity so much. So, David Horowitz 这样指出说，我们这样看到这个真理是很自然，就是人人都被被平等被呃被创这个概念从何而来？从基督教而来。现在民主党完全变成自由派无神论。David Horowitz dice de que, de, de que dice decimos nosotros de que todos son creados igual pero es un pensamiento cristiano si la cristiandad no tendríamos eso no tendríamos este país el problema con los demócratas es de que se están haciendo todo en contra de la cristiandad. So um, the um, the problem today is very few Americans take the Bible seriously. 如今的问题是，如今的那边美国人很少人把圣经认真对待。El problema no es de que los uh, los americanos no toman la Biblia seriamente. Very few preachers do. 很少的宣道士认真对待圣经。Pocos predicadores lo hacen. A couple of weeks ago, Joel Osteen and his wife went to an LGBTQ、uh, meeting, a banquet, where all the homosexuals and lesbians were, and they asked Joel Osteen.、Uh, Uh, on the platform, on the microphone. What do you think of that? What do you think of homosexuality? He said, "Well, whatever God made a person, they have to, what they have to be." And he skirted it. He, he skirted. A, a liberal couldn't have said it better. And jo Joel Osteen tell you he's an evangelical. I don't need that kind of an evangelical. Joel estaba con los homosexuales en una reunión y dijo de que tiene que hacer lo que Dios te hizo. Es como que si fuera liberal. But on the other hand, you have never heard me preach a sermon against homosexuals, have you? Has anybody here heard me ever do that? Nunca he predicado contra los homosexuales. No. Why should I say? Why should I single out one sin and preach against it? I don't do that. I preach against man's heart being wicked and、uh, conservative. As they can be, a conservative fundamentalist has a just as wicked a heart as a homosexual. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Jeremiah seventeen nine. So a person from a, a fundamentalist church、uh, and a homosexual both have to be saved by Jesus. So I just preach the gospel to everybody. That, Go ahead. 我就是讲福音，它能够应用在全部的人身上，无论你是保守派或者同性恋，他们都需要得到重生。Un fundamentalista también puede ser muy malo y ha perdido, tal como de el pecado de homosexual. Por eso yo predico solamente el evangelio contra el pecado, pero no un pecado en particular, porque la cosa es que todos son pecadores. In fact, I think most of these、uh, conservative preachers that preach against homosexuals are a bunch of phonies. Why don't they? I was in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and、uh, Doctor Doctor Paisley wasn't a phony, but but he did、uh, know how to, how to play the game, and、uh, he preached against the homosexuals and against the Catholics, and I thought, why didn't this man preach against the Protestants that are sitting in front of him? Half of them are lost, but then you see you get in trouble when you do that. There's not a homosexual there. When a man is preaching against somebody that isn't even there, you know that man is doing something phony. So when I went to Ireland, I heard one of Ian Paisley's talks about this, when he was talking about the Catholic Church, about the Protestants, etc. But I thought, if he was alone and he didn't condemn the person standing in front of him, then the person was just a phony. Ian Paisley was talking about the Catholic Church and the Protestants, but there were no one of them there with him. When someone was preaching against someone who wasn't there, and he was doing something wrong, he was doing something wrong. I could rant and rave and jump up and down and pull my hair out by the roots and preach against the homosexuals and against the Catholics. Jump up and down and pull my hair out by the roots and preach against the homosexuals. And some of these fundamentalists say, "Boy, that Dr. Heimer is a real preacher," but there's not a homosexual here, is there? Well, he's pretty well closeted. 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 Well, he's pretty Everybody comes into the church has a wicked heart, and that's what I preach again. 每个人进到教会都有一个邪恶的心，所以我指责的就是全部的人的邪恶的心。Yo no predico contra homosexualidad porque no hay ningún homosexual acá. La cosa es de que todos tienen corazón maldito, pecaminoso, y eso es lo que yo predico. You don't preach against it because you're afraid. 
You'd better not believe that. I'm the most honest preacher you ever heard. I Amen. preach against everything I think is wrong. Amen. From the Democratic Party to uh, Joel Osteen. I could list the names. The problem with America is the fact that we got so many fake preachers that are afraid. I am not afraid. If I thought it would help somebody, I would preach against homosexuality in every sermon. But I don't see that it helps anybody, so I don't do it. Not because I'm scared. Hell with it. I'm not scared. Hell with being scared. I was... Yo no, predico, yo no predico contra de alguna cosa porque tengo miedo. Yo, yo no tengo ningún miedo. Yo, yo soy honesto. Yo predico lo que yo pienso que es correcto. All right, now. Going back to verse, page 4, Dr. Lin said, Many times right after reading the Bible, we forget what we just read, unquote. Doctor Lin dijo muchas veces de, justo después de leer la Biblia olvidamos lo que acabamos de leer. Close your eyes just for a second. How many found that to be? How many have found that to be true at times in your own Bible reading? Put your hand up. ¿Cuándo has visto la casa verdad sobre la mano? Oh my! A bunch of people didn't put their hand up. I find it to be true in my own life. Sometimes you read the Bible and then you don't remember what you read. Come on, everybody here has that happen. How do you okay? Look up. How do you stop that? Doctor Lin said you have to take a couple of minutes after reading the Bible to meditate on the verse. Think about it. Put it over in your brain. Go ahead. Doctor Lin dijo tiene que pasar unos minutos después de leer la Biblia para meditar en el versículo. Then I gave Matthew, uh, Psalm 77:12. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. 诗篇七十一章十二节里面这样讲，我要思想你的经营，默念你的作为。Salmo 77 de verso 12 Meditaré de en todas tus obras y hablaré de tus hechos Turn the page to page 5 Oh, is it a different page, doctor? Well, give me a small print What do I need that for? You've got to be able to tell them what page it is Now you won't have one This is a very good verse. Look up uh, page 661. Página 661. Psalm 119, 130. Psalm I was a simpleton. Stupid is as stupid does. Who said that? You know who said that, Forrest Gump. If I said, the entrance of thy word giveth light, it giveth understanding of the simple, you wouldn't know who said it. That was David, you know. So we are more influenced by secular media than we are by the Bible. So stupid is as stupid does. La exposición de tu palabra alumbrará Salmo 119, verso 130. The entrance of thy word giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. That means a simple uh, person that doesn't know anything about theology, doesn't know anything about God. La entrada de la palabra da, da, da luz al simple, alguien que no sabe de Dios o teología. That was me. 
那就是我了。As if we all. Boy, I was really simple. I did. The preacher said, "Turn to Matthew." I mean, turn to Revelation. And I started Matthew some through it. I didn't know where Revelation where I didn't know where it was. I thumbed through half the Bible before I got to it. 当时我就是 I didn't know the Bible. I, I never read the Bible. Nobody in my family did. Didn't know the Bible. 当时家人没有一个人有圣经，我不懂圣经。Era tanto no de que cuando el predicador decía de voltear de Apocalipsis no sabía qué era y la cosa de que empezaba en Mateo hasta que lo encontraba. I was I was not raised in a Christian family. 并非在基督教家庭里面长大。No fui creado en un hogar cristiano. But you can read. Doctor Chan read the Bible and it didn't help him any. 但陈医生读通了圣经，但是呢，他通读圣经也没有帮他。Chad knew the Bible, but no la ayudó. I know a pastor in Marin County that reads the Bible in the original Greek without helps. He, he knows the Greek real well. The original Greek, he read it and he reads it every morning for about a half about a half an hour to keep up on his Greek. And that man is an unbeliever going to hell. 我认识一个马林县的某牧师，他就是每个早上半钟头了读这个原文希腊文的这个新约，但他一直仍然下地狱，他没有得救。Con los compradores muy encarni de que de leer la Biblia cada día medio hora en griego para que no se olvide el griego, pero es un incrédulo yendo al infierno. And、uh, he's a whoremonger and a thief and everything else. I don't want to talk about it too much, but he reads the Bible in the original Greek every morning for half an hour to forty-five minutes. 每天早上读半个钟头的原文希腊原文的圣经，但是他根本就是一个又是一个贼又是一个通奸犯。Es es la droga y todo todo tipo de pecado, pero aunque lee la Biblia cada mañana media hora de en griego, te está yendo al infierno. What good does it do to read the Bible? Move over just a little bit this way, Rebecca. Just a little bit that way, yeah. A little bit more, yeah. What good does it do to read the Bible if you don't think about it? And that's what the scripture means here: the entrance of thy word. 一解开，你的言辞一解开。La entrada de tu palabra. That's what happens in 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 meditation, and and many of these great verses. That's a verse that you should memorize: the entrance of thy word giveth understanding. Uh, give uh, the entrance of thy words giveth light; it giveth understanding unto the simple. That's a verse to memorize. Wherewithal shall a young man take heed according to thy word, and so on? There are many verses in Psalm 119 that you should memorize as as life goes on. But you see, meditating on it is the beginning of memorizing. Go ahead. 真正去读，而且是背诵、默念，就是能够背诵下来的开始。我告诉你们，很多背诵下来的经句，能够使愚人得通达。Hay muchos versos Salmo 119 que debes de memorizar, como verso 130, pero meditar es el principio. You got to get the word of God in your heart and in your brain. If it just, if you just, oh, I was, went to church and it was a very good sermon. What was it about? I, well, I couldn't tell you really. A lot of people will say that, don't they, Curtis? 必须要神的道进入你的心田。Tienes que tener la palabra de Dios dentro de ti, no solamente ir a la iglesia y no recordar que hoy escuchaste. The preacher's main job on Sunday morning, Sunday night, is to make you think about the Word of God. That's what a sermon is. 牧师主要责任就是让你们在礼拜天打礼拜的时候思考神的道。Trabajo del predicador es hacer de pensar de la palabra de Dios. A preacher, a good preacher, his main job on Sunday morning and Sunday night is to get you to make you think about the Bible. That's what a sermon is. You know, you otherwise, it's just rhetoric and it doesn't mean anything. If it's a Christian sermon, it's a pastor making you think about the Word of God and deal with it. 如果是优秀的牧师，就让你们能思考神的道，而且面对神的道。In other words, a good preacher does the work that you can do at home when you do your daily Bible reading. The good preacher makes you think about the Word of God, makes you think about it, makes you think about it. That's a real sermon, see. 真正的一个宣道就是让在座的人用心思考，用心要必须要思考。El predicador real bueno te puede ser pensar de la palabra de Dios en ese mundo tal como debe de ser cuando la estás leyendo en tu casa. But you can make yourself think about it. But you can force yourself to think about it. 
Pero tú te puedes ser tú mismo pensar de ellos. Now what does that mean? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to tell you a heresy now. Some of these guys will call it a heresy. I preach only from the King James Bible, but sometimes you're young people and you don't know too good what the King James wording is. So you could have a modern translation, NASB, NASB, and you could look the word up, look the same verse up in the NASB. That'll help you. I think everybody here ought to have a a Ryrie Study Bible, NASB, at home. Now, I am a King James man, and I always will be. I have never preached a sermon other than out of the King James Bible. Never in my whole life. But you, you find it a little bit hard. You're not quite used to it. Get, buy, crack your wallet open and buy something that'll do you good. Buy a Ryrie Study Bible, NASB. Open it up, read the verse there, and read it here. Now you're meditating. What do you think meditating is? The entrance of thy word giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. You gotta get that you gotta get that verse in your craw and in your brain and in your heart. Tienes que tener la palabra de Dios en tu corazón porque la entrada de la palabra ayuda al simple. If you lived out in the country, you know the chickens and the chickens have to have gravel in their craw because when you kill the chicken open the, and open the craw up, you see there's gravel in there along with the corn or whatever else they ate and the craw moves like this and the gravel is like our teeth, chews it up. So you got to get the word of God in your craw, in your heart, in your brain. You got to think about it. The entrance of thy word giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. You could take that NASB. Don't bring one to church. You could take that at home for your daily Bible. You take it and the King James. Read the King James. Read that back and forth. Now you're meditating. That's all it is. That's what it is. No en la iglesia, pero la cosa es que tiene que meter la palabra de Dios en tu corazón, a masticarla para que puedas entender. The only thing wrong with the NASB is it's got the wrong uh, Greek and Hebrew text, uh, the uh, Greek text that it translates from. So it leaves some things out, but most of the time it's going to help you know what the verse means and, and to think about it. You've got to know what the verse means. Then you've got to think, now what does that say to me? Now you're meditating. Dr. Lin says, practice. Like anything else, if you practice it, it'll become easy for you. Dr. Lin dice, practica, si practica, todo será fácil. Dr. Lin would have been very upset with Dr. Chan for quickly reading 1 Corinthians 1.10. And he read it at least 43 times. I'm sure he read it more than that. He read the Bible every day slavishly. But uh, he read the uh, for, uh, uh, Rome, uh, 1 Corinthians 1.10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, that there be no divisions among you. He read that at least 43 times. Probably, probably twice that many. Probably 80 times. And it never got into his head because he didn't stop to think about it. Dr. Lin would have told Dr. Chan, Now, 
Dr. Lynn's trying to tell us how to get God's presence. The first thing, if God is not with us, we can't do anything. We're, we're going to start. I hope you understand that it's, what we're going to do out there is going to be not easy at all. Look up, please, Joseph. What we're going to do out there in uh, uh, San Bernardino, where is it? San Gabriel. I didn't sleep last night. I stayed up all night. Every other night, I have to stay up because I have insomnia. And if I, and I'll, it'll be fine. I, I, but sometimes I'm a little bit woozy, not because I've got Alzheimer's, but because I only sleep every other night. I studied all night last night, and uh, I like to do that. It's good. I have to study sometime. And uh, that was one of Dr. Lin's things. He only slept about three or four hours a night. Never more than four hours. He'd get, a, he'd get up about 2.30 in the morning and study. And the students that Bob Jones said that we could always see Dr. Lin's light on when we came in from our dates and stuff at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> He's, what's he doing? He's studying and praying. Yeah. Right. To have God's presence, we must do what the Bible says. To do what the Bible says, we must let his, the, the Bible dwell in us. To let the Bible dwell in us, we must think about it, we must meditate on it. And then point four, to meditate, we must trust the Bible. I have a little book called The History of uh, Evangelical Theology. Right before I go to bed at night, I read a little bit of that book. And I finished reading it uh, last night. And uh, I told you about it before. It starts off with these men that were willing to give their lives up for the Bible, for the message of the Bible. Like Latimer and Ridley, those, what, oh, where do you get men like that? My wife and boys and I stood on the spot where they were burned at the stake. There's a, there's a marker there at uh, Oxford University where they burned those two holy, godly preachers at the stake for believing the Bible. And they would give up their lives. Why? Well, because they saw something in the Word of God. Professors that I had at Golden Gate Seminary, they've seen nothing. So they said of the false prophets, they said he's seen nothing. But Richard Vermbrandt had plenty of time to meditate on the Bible, even though he didn't have a Bible with him. One of the verses he'd memorized in that cell with the rats chewing on his feet. Richard Reverend tuvo mucho tiempo para meditar sobre la Biblia cuando estaba en la condena solitaria con las ratas comiendo los pies. And Richard Wormbrandt, when the books are closed, 
Richard Wurmbrandt will be considered one of the greatest Christian, probably maybe even the greatest Christian of the 20th century. Don't worry, it won't be Clark Pinnock, good my lad, or that jerk at, uh, that uh, teaches theology at at, um, at uh, uh, Baylor University. No, it'll be uh, Richard Wurmbrandt, people like him, David Livingstone, and uh, the Bible believers. 真正是为最伟大的相信圣经，David Livingstone，或者是文布朗牧师。Drop down to the bottom of page two, and it says, Dr. Lin said, if we follow these four steps diligently, our God, who is faithful, will definitely be with us. 林博士这样指示，如果我们勤恳地遵循这四点、四个要点，我们的神是信实的，肯定会与我们同在。Doctor Lin dijo que si seguimos de estos cuatro de pasos diligentemente, nuestro nuestro Dios que es fiel divinamente estará con nosotros. As he has promised in the Great Commission. 正如他的大使命中所承诺那样。Como ha prometido en la Gran Comisión. Kama, lo and lo, I am with you always. That actually could be is always. With you always, even unto the end of the world, Matthew twenty-eight twenty. 这样我就常与你们同在这些世界的末了，马太福音二十八章二十节。Now, teaching there has to be teaching. I I didn't do enough of that. Uh, that's partly responsible for all these splits. But you know, I, I try to figure out how can we get away from the house churches and become a real church? It's real hard to do, but now, we, now we're going to do it. And we're going to have. Um, uh, Discipleship groups of about nine or ten people, ten maybe twelve people. We've got two of them going at my house on Tuesday night. We're going to have everybody in the church in in, the, in a discipleship group, and we'll talk about these things and discuss these things. I'll prepare a lesson like this that you can go over in your in your group. 我们在这个要都要这个每个小门徒小组，我们就全部的人都要加入。Todos vamos a tener un grupo de discípulos al lado. Hay dos que andan en mi casa ahora, pero pronto todos estaremos ahí. Down at the bottom of page uh, two, there's a verse that you've got to memorize. Este es un texto que todos pueden son. Y a fe es un verso que tiene que memorizar. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Psalm 119:11. Stand up, stand up, say it, John. From memory. Thy word. Psalm 119, verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Psalm 119, verse 11. It's important to give the verse before and after, then you'll know where it is, see? Make that part of what you memorize. Psalm 119, verse 11. Psalm 119, verse 11. Psalm 119, verse 11. Psalm 119, verse 11. Debe de decir el versículo donde está en el principio y en el fin para que sea parte de lo que memoriza. Dr. Lin's fourth point. To meditate, we must trust his word. I don't know what trust means. Lin Bo Shi. Come on, you know what it means. Lin Bo Shi, this is... You know somebody you trust at school or somebody you don't trust. If there's a bully at school, you don't trust them, do you? Ni pi shi xin ren shen adao. Para meditar tienes que confiar y hacer que es confiar. Are there any bullies at your school? Any of yours? Huh? You're the only one, huh? <laughs> you know any bullies at your school? Do you trust them? Okay. So, you know what trust means. I tell you to trust Christ. Say, what does that mean? Well, to trust Christ. And you have to trust the Bible. See, look, here's the problem with Clark Pinnock and these guys. 
Tienes que confiar la Biblia, Dios lo que está mal con los modernos de hoy. They weren't, they didn't trust the Bible. That's that guy that reads the Bible every morning for 45, 30 minutes to 45 minutes in the original Greek. He doesn't trust it, so what good does it do for him to read it? He, he tries to meditate on it, tries to read it, but he doesn't trust it. He's a lost man. Now, I'm not as smart as he is with language like that. But I'm smart enough to trust the Bible. I can't, the, I can't read the Bible out of Greek without any help, so I can't, I can't do that. I can figure out some of the words. I can't read the Bible like that because I'm not smart in, in languages like that. But I know way more about it how to live the Christian life and how to be saved and go to heaven and lead people to Christ than that man ever will. Amen. Why? Because I trust the Bible Amen. when I read it and he, did, and he doesn't. Amen. I believe I read the Bible but I don't know that person is not saved so I can't get into that and I can't get into that and I can't get into that. Okay, no sé tanto de esos idiomas del principio la cosa de que yo sí confío en la Biblia de ser la Biblia de la cosa de que sé mucho más de la vida cristiana como ser convertido porque confío en la Biblia. I don't know who these guys are talking to these theologians. Who are they talking to? They say the world will not respect us if we don't can't, if we try to prove the miracles. Those guys never get out of their they never get out of their ivory tower to talk to anybody on the street or in the world. So what are they worried about? They don't know what people think. Los liberales nunca salen de la escuela, por eso no saben lo que el mundo piensa, por eso de qué están preocupados. With all the scientific advancements, we can't believe everything in the Bible. And wait a minute, which scientific advancement and which thing is it disproved in the Bible? Well, I know it's there. And don't let them make fun of the Bible without defending it. And they'll say, oh, there's mistakes all through the Bible. Name one. Name one. Here's, my, here's the Bible. Show me one. They can't do it. They don't know what they're talking about. Well, I don't know where the mistakes are, but I know they're in there. No sé dónde están los rodeos, pero sé que están ahí. The entrance of thy word giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. But they won't, they won't take it because they're too simple. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Said, simple Simon to the pieman, let me taste your wares. Did you ever hear that? You wrote it, he said. Miguel said he wrote that years ago, back in the 15th century. In another, in another life. Mm. All right, I'm going to sleep on you. All right, now let's finish this thing off. And I want you to take this home and read it. So I'll read it some more. Look. If we don't do that, we we go to a lot of trouble to type this stuff out and put it out for you. If you don't read it, we're going to stop doing that. It's a rare privilege. I've only known one church where that was done. It wasn't, it wasn't first Chinese either. It was, um, it was uh, Dr. W. Uh, what was his name? What was his name, Dr.? Glendale. Dr. W. A. S. McBurney. 
typed his sermons out like this and gave them out. He's the only preacher I have ever heard that ever did that. It's a lot of trouble. Yeah, he passed them out. Very good. I thought, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that when I have, you know, have my own church. And uh, I do it, but you don't read it. So what's good? <laughs> if you don't read it, we might as well stop doing it. Well, there's, there's benefit to doing it because we put it up on the internet. Go ahead. McBurning Glendale uh, escribía y daba la gente los sermones y pensé de que has oído mucho y también he oído por la internet. I didn't say I like McBurney. I said he, I learned to do it from him. You can learn from a guy that's not too good. He, would, uh, he wasn't a liberal, but he was a thief. All right. Well, so McBurney and I said, I'll tell you the lingo. Puedes aprender de alguien de que no es bueno. McBurney no era de, uh, liberal, pero era ladrón, era malo. Page three, top of the page. Another young man went to a fairly good Bible-believing seminary. Yet this monk, young man left the ministry after being ordained. He is very smart. He made straight A's in his Hebrew and Greek classes. But like so many men that go to seminary, he got so busy he didn't have time to meditate, and so he went astray. You go to seminary, and you don't you become a superstar? No, no, no. You, they backslide. The reason is because they're just studying it like they would geometry or something, and they're not thinking about God. They don't, they don't make them think about Him. It does no good to study something if you don't think about it. The Reformation Study Bible says, they're on top, near the top of page 3, God is the author of the Bible. The it was given to direct the belief and behavior of his people. The scripture is the voice of God in the world. The Bible is the voice of God in the world. That's, how does God speak to the world? Through the Bible. And that is why we must, we must submit our thoughts and moral standards to the Bible. Now stand up where you are and read it off the page, 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17, again. Stand and read it. Come on. Off the page. Right, right in front of you. Go. Thoroughly is just the old King James way of saying thoroughly. Go ahead. You may be seated. <coughs> Hugh Dong Lee, you've got a good loud voice. Read what Matthew Henry said about 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. 
Mira lo que Mateo de Henry dijo de estos versos. The scripture has various uses and answers. It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction of all errors in judgment and practice, and for instruction in righteousness. 圣经具有多重的应用，并能回答许多的问题与教义、督责、使人归正与纠正人判断的这个实践上一切的错误与教导人学习都是有益的。The scripture is a perfect rule of faith and practice, and was designed for the Christian, all that we may love our Bibles more and meditate on them more than ever. 圣经是信仰与实践的完美的标尺，它是为信徒所设置的。但愿我们能够更深的去爱手中的圣经。La escritura una regla perfecta de fe, de práctica, de y que ojalá meditemos de ella más. Then shall we find the benefit and advantage they give, and shall at last attain the happiness therein promised and assured to us. Unquote. 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 Un That I might not sin, Thy word have I hid in my heart. Just the ladies. Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against Thee. That I might not sin, that I might not sin, Thy word have I hid in my heart. Now the men. Everybody, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against Thee. That I might not sin, that I might not sin. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Now, by by singing that little chorus, you memorize the verse. Okay. 这首歌就是这些经文，你可背诵。Amen. Love you. Now take this thing home and read it again. Put this book back in the case. Sit down. Just for a minute. Almost done. Look. Look. What if you take a course in? Uh, uh, oh, what? What's, a, what's some real hard part of math? Calculus. You're taking, you're taking your introductory course in calculus. Would you just listen to the professor talk, or would you go home and read the book too, if you wanted to do good on the test? Would you just listen to the professor talk, Tom, what will you do? Of course, you want to make an A in the course. You're going to have to. You're going to really have to learn it. You can't just fiddle around. Well, I used to write the answers on my fingers. You know. 要想真正得到这个全 A 的话，要回去读课。But that's no good. That's cheating. Well, I wasn't a Christian then. 以前我曾经就是欺欺骗。Tienes que leer el libro si vas a estudiar y a conseguir buenas notas. Here's what I did later. I didn't want to cheat anymore, so I would take a piece of oh, a big, bigger piece than this, you know, biggest piece of line paper you can get, and I would put the whole course down in in little, you know, just things to put you put on your fingers. I put it on all the way down and on this, then I memorize the page. 
整整整一堂课。Then I memorized the page. 课程上面的内容。I got the whole course on one piece of paper. 重点都写在一张纸上，把它背下来。Ponía los dedos del del curso entero de un pedazo de papel, lo memorizaba y entonces tenía el curso. You can do that with liberal arts, and but you can't do it with mathematics, and you can't do it with language. 就文学可以。Anything that's you know liberal arts, and that's most stuff. You can make straight A's by doing that. I'll show you how to do it sometime. 文科可以这样做，但理科你必须回去做功课才可以。No se puede hacer eso con matemático o idiomas, pero las cosas artes liberales se puede hacer eso con un papel. Doctor King, will you lead us in prayer, please? Our heavenly Father, we thank you for this message that we've heard. Amen. Que fue porque ansiedad que tiene la ciencia. Para dar gracias por el mensaje que escuchamos. We pray that the men and women would take this manuscript home and read it again tonight. 希望男女我们都可以带一个文稿回去用心读。Esperamos que los hombres y mujeres tomen esto y lo lean de nuevo. We pray that they would trust the Bible, that they would read the Bible and meditate on the Bible. 我们祈求人人人都会信任圣经，而且靠着圣经里面默念圣经里面道，我们可以得意。Oramos de que lean la Biblia, mediten la Biblia, de confiar en la Biblia. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Thank you for watching today's sermon. 感谢大家观看今天我们讲的道。Gracias por mirar este mundo hoy. And if you are not saved, I urge you. To come to Jesus. 如果你仍未得救的时候，我鼓励你，督促你信靠基督。Si no eres salvo, te animo que vengas a Jesús. When I was a young person, I went forward uh, many, many times uh, to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow I never got saved that way. 要知道我年轻的时候，我许多次走到前面去得救或者重新奉献我的一生，但是那样的方式一直没有使我得救。When I was a young man, I went forward to be saved and to be baptized many, many times, but it never happened. When I did get saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. When I was saved, it was a very simple matter. Simplemente vine a Jesús, confié en él y él me lavó con su sangre. It's extremely to, important to know where Jesus is. I don't think I really thought about that uh, before that I was saved, the day I was saved. 要知道，在我得救那天之前呢，我一直没有意识到耶稣到底是在何处。现在在何处，这非常重要的一点。Es muy importante que sepas dónde es que está Jesús. Yo no creo que pensé de eso antes del día que fui salvo. Right now, Jesus is not in the air all around us. Uh, he's not on the cross still. Uh, Jesus is not in our hearts. The Holy Spirit is, but not Jesus. The Bible says repeatedly, over and over again, that Jesus is at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. 如今呢，耶稣并没有在我们周围各处那个空呃虚无缥缈中间飘，也没有在石架上，更没有在我们心中圣灵在我们心中。但是圣经重重复复讲到，耶稣基督在上天神的右手边。Jesús no está todo alrededor de nosotros, no está en el corazón. El Espíritu Santo sí está con nosotros, pero Jesús, en la Biblia dice que está a la mano derecha de Dios el Padre en el cielo. And Jesus loves you; he's not angry with you. Jesús ama, no está enojado contigo. Jesús te ama, no está enojado contigo. God the Father is angry with the wicked every day, but Jesus came into the world. The Son of God came into the world to save sinners, and He loves you. 神呢，每一天都生那些罪人的气，因为为他们犯的罪。但是耶稣基督来到人间，他为了就是拯救罪人。Jesús no está enojado contigo. Jesús vino al mundo para salvar los pecadores. Él te ama. And God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Even though He was angry with sin, He loved the world and sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. 虽然神憎恶这些世间的罪孽，但是呢，他爱世人，将他自己的独生子赐到赐给我们，让一切信他的不至灭亡，反得永生。约翰福音三章十六节。De tal manera amó Dios el mundo que dio su hijo unigénito para que cualquiera que crea en él no se pierda más tenga vida eterna. Sometimes people ask me, how do you come to Jesus? 有时候常常有人问我，如何才能走向基督？ A veces la gente me pregunta cómo es que vienes a Jesús. I never answer that question because the Bible doesn't answer it. 我从来没有去回答这个问题，因为圣经没有这样回答。Nunca doy respuesta a esa pregunta porque la Biblia no da respuesta. When you are tired of your sin and tired of your struggle, then God will draw you to Jesus, 
and it will be a very simple matter. 当你厌倦了自己的罪恶的时候，当你厌倦了那种挣扎之下的时候，但是结果神就会自然而然引导你信靠基督了。Cuando estás cansado de tu pecado, de entonces a、ah, ese negocio fácil para que Dios te traiga a Jesús. Not long ago, I was reading again the testimony of the salvation of Dr. A. W. Tozer. 不久以前，我又一次读了读 A. W. Tozer 博士他得救的见证。Recién estaba leyendo de nuevo en la conversión al testimonio de la doctor Tozer. Dr. Tozer heard a man preach the gospel on a street corner. Doctor Tozer escuchó a alguien predicando el evangelio de una esquina. It was the first time he had ever heard the gospel. 这是他头一次、第一次听到福音的宣扬。Fue la primera vez de que había escuchado el evangelio. He was seventeen years old. 十七岁才。Diecisiete años de edad. And Doctor Tozer ran home. He didn't stop to talk to anybody or tell anybody about it. He ran home and went up into the attic. Of his, house, of his father's house. This Tozer Boy was 一路跑回家，路上没有跟任何人打招呼，跑到家以后去到阁楼上面，他的父亲家里的阁楼上面藏起来。Doctor Tozer、uh, no、uh, corrió de la casa después de escuchar eso. No le habló con nadie. Se puso、uh, automáticamente、uh, enseguida a la azotea de la casa. And he got down on his knees and came to Jesus. 结果就在阁楼上面单独一个人跪下以后，在靠信念信靠了耶稣基督。Se arrodilló y vino enseguida a Jesús. And he went on to become one of the great preachers of the 20th century. 结果继续成为一个二十世纪最知名的一个传教士之一。Fue uno de los grandes predicadores del siglo XX. Perhaps that would be a good way for you、uh, to do. If you heard this sermon and you feel that you're lost, get in a quiet place by yourself. 有可能这是可以成为你得救的方式。当你在网站上听到了我们这个宣道的时候，可以自己一个人单独一个人在单独祷告。Quizá de eso sería bueno también para ti. Si estás escuchando este sermón y estás perdido, ve a un lugar callado tú solo. Get down on your knees. That helps to humble you. Get down on your knees and come to Jesus, and His blood will wash every sin away, past, present, and future. 这样跪下呢，帮助你作为一些卑微一下，让这样跪下请求神的，请求耶稣基督，请求神的原谅。这样呢，原谅你过去、现在和未来全部的罪孽。In cante tu rodillas y a ven a Jesús, él lavará tus pecados pasado, presente, futuro. Repent and believe in Jesus. 当忏悔，信靠主耶稣。Arrepiéntete, cree en Jesús. Turn away from your sinful lifestyle and get down on your knees and simply. By faith, come to Jesus. That's all He requires. Him that cometh to Me, I will in no wise cast out. He said in the sixth chapter of John. 在约翰福音六章，呃，这里边讲耶稣这样到我这里来，我绝不会离弃他们。所以你要抛弃自己邪恶的生活，结果转向耶稣，靠信仰的信靠他，这就是他所需要的一切了。Ese camino bien no lo rechazaré, dijo de breve en el Evangelio de Juan. And then if you do come to Christ, I Pray that you will get in to a church as soon as possible and be in church every time the door is open. There's no more important advice that I can give you. Get into a church and be there every time the door is open. 但是，当你得到转变之后，一定要找一个地方教会。每一次教会有活动，都去参加，没有比这更重要的了。一旦你得到转变，参加一个地方教会。No hay mejor consejo que te puedo,、uh, puedo dar menos que ve a la iglesia y esté ahí cada vez que la puerta esté abierta. And if at all possible, make sure it's a church that preaches from the authorized King James Bible and sings the traditional hymns. 若可能的话，这个教会应当是宣扬 King James 的版本，而且他们唱的是传统的圣诗。Y si es posible, asegúrate que sea de la King James、uh, y、uh, los himnos antiguos. And go to the pastor and. Tell the pastor that you've been saved. 而且告诉了牧师你如何得救的。Habla con el pastor, dile que fuiste salvo. And the best advice I could possibly give you is to get in to a church, a local church, and be there every time the door is open. That's the way to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And be sure to send a tithe, give a tithe of your money to the church, and God will bless you. 所以我给你最重要的这个建议就是进入一个地方教会，在那里面就是在恩典之下不断成长，而且拿出你的十一奉献交给了地方教会。Métete a en una iglesia local es una de las mejores maneras de crecer en gracia y conocimiento de un diezmo ahí Dios te bendecirá. Now, I 
would like to ask you to support this ministry and help us. Quiero pedirte de que nos ayudes apoyando esta, este ministerio. Because these sermons are going out throughout the world in many, many languages and we're adding more languages almost every month. Entonces, Moles van a través del mundo en la internet de muchos idiomas y añadimos más idiomas casi cada mes. And Dr. Kagan, who are, is our statistician, has estimated, based on various things that he studied, that 80% of those who watch these sermons, uh, who read my sermons in manuscript form on this website, 80% of them are pastors. Y el doctor Kagan, que hace la estadística con nosotros, piensa de que 80% de la gente que ve estos videos, escucha de esa, son predicadores. And they are using these sermons when they get stuck, as, as I often do, uh, to give them a sermon idea. And uh, in the third world, uh, in places where the gospel cannot go, many preachers are preaching these sermons verbatim, right, word for word. 要叫很多的牧师，当他们自己根本就没有不知道想宣讲什么的时候呢，通过网站可以得到一些启发。很多的第三世界国家那些教会的牧师，通过我们网站什么，逐字逐句就是用我们的讲的道来宣讲。Y ayuda pastores a veces cuando no saben a qué predicar, pero también en los países tercer mundo son la están predicando palabra por palabra. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know it until not too long ago, but one third of the world. Does not have any, not even one missionary. Doesn't have any missionaries from the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. No missionaries from the English-speaking world in one third of the world. 不知道你有没有注意到，我是最近才发现，就是在三分之一世界上的地区，西方世界，美国、英国，而且欧洲还澳大利亚等等，那么西方世界传教士根本去不到世界三分之一地区。No sé si lo sabes, pero un tercio del mundo no tiene misioneros de, de, la, de que hablan inglés. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Jesús dijo, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Jesús dijo, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. But our Western missionaries cannot get into one third of the world. That's about two and a half billion people where our missionaries cannot go. 但是我们西方这个传教士大概有三分之一的地区，大概也就是两亿五千万的人，根本就是我们啊得啊达不到我们这些呃、啊、西方传教士这个啊他们这个声音之下。Tercio del mundo como un billón de gente, los misioneros nuestros no pueden ir ahí. But the native pastors are there. 但是有本地的传教士在那里。Pero los pastores nativos sí están ahí. And they are the only way. They are the only means of spreading the gospel in those countries is through the native pastors. In those countries, it is the only way to spread the gospel in the native language. It is the only way to spread the gospel in the native language. It is the only way to spread the gospel in the native language. It is the only way to spread the gospel in the native language. At the beginning of World War II, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England, sent a message to President Franklin D. Roosevelt in America, and he said. Give us the tools, and we'll finish the job. 第二次世界大战开始的时候，温斯顿·丘吉尔曾经发了一个信息，传给这个美国的总统罗斯福，这样祈求到说：“请你们把工具交到我们手中，我们就把这工作完成的。” Al principio de, de la guerra de mundial, Churchill le mandó de una correspondencia al presidente Roosevelt diciéndole: "Mándanos las herramientas y nosotros terminaremos el trabajo." And that's what we're attempting to do with this website. We're sending The printed sermons, word for word, on the internet, to those nations in the Muslim world, the Buddhist world, the Hindu world, where our missionaries cannot go. This is what we are doing through this website. We are sending the gospel through the internet to those three quarters of the Muslim world, and the Buddhist world, and the Hindu world, where the missionaries cannot go. We are sending the gospel through the internet to those three quarters of the Muslim world. Y eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Estamos mandando estos sermones a uh, escrito palabra por palabra a los lugares musulmanes uh, uh, de otros uh, del mundo que donde los misioneros no pueden ir. 
We're giving those native pastors the tools and they will finish the job of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. 我们把这些传福音的工具交在那些本地的传教士他们的手中，他们就会完成这样传福音的工作。Nosotros estamos dando a esos pastores las herramientas para que ellos puedan hacer el trabajo. And we are giving those pastors, those native pastors, the tools, and they will finish the job of going into all the world and spreading the gospel to every creature in that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. 我们就是把这个工具交到他们这些本地的那宣道士的手中，让他们去到那个三分之一我们西方传教士去不到的地方，往普天下去把这个福音传给万民听。Estamos mandando estas herramientas a los sermones en ese tercio del mundo donde los misioneros nuestros no pueden ir. And that's where you come in. Ahí es donde tú ayudas. I am asking you to help us add more languages and more translators. Te estoy pidiendo que uh, nos ayudes para que podamos agregar más idiomas a más uh, uh, idiomas. People in our own church translate the sermons into Chinese, Japanese, Tagalog, the language of the Philippines, Spanish, and of course I give them in English. And so we are able to do those five languages. But all the rest of the languages, we have to pay a small amount of money to the missionaries and Christian workers that translate all the other languages. Y nosotros de, en la, nuestra iglesia estamos nosotros mismos traduciendo en español, en a, a, japonés, en a, coreano, de, en a, chino, a, y va, pues claro, en inglés, y, a, pero a, tenemos que pagar a los otros que están afuera de la iglesia. Now, we have raised a lot of money here for the languages that are already up, but to add more languages, we're going to need your help. Estamos a mucho dinero acá para los idiomas que sí tenemos en el sitio anterior, pero para añadir más idiomas necesitamos ayuda. Could you possibly make a monthly pledge to help us add more languages to this website? ¿Podrías mensualmente ayudarnos con una promesa para ayudarnos a añadir más idiomas? Si tú puedes hacerlo, estoy pidiendo que te envíes $50 a mes, si eso no es posible, $25 a mes, y hacer un pledge de mensual a este ministerio para ayudarnos a sacar estos sermones en esas partes del mundo Where none, of, where none of our missionaries can go. So I hope you can give us a month of $50 a month. If you can, you can give us $25 a month. You can help us to get this language, 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 to get this language. If you can help us, por favor, promete para ayudar algo mensualmente para que podamos mandar esto a lugares donde los misioneros no pueden ir. Because the internet goes everywhere. La internet va a todas partes. And those native pastors can print out the sermons from their, uh, from their computer or copy them down with a pencil or pen. And often uh, they circulate these sermons and uh, pass them on to others. So would you help us with a monthly gift? So those native pastors can get out or copy it or do a copy of it or send it to another person. Can you help us to do these things? Frequently, the pastors write word by word what is seen in the computer. But the thing is, please help us monthly. And if you can do that, uh, you can send the money with a credit card or you can send it uh, by Western Union. And uh, uh, see if you can send it in with American money, if possible. And the sheet will come up in just a moment that tells you uh, how to send the money by credit card or the post office box where you can mail it. 
你要是做奉献献给我们教会的话，你可以写支票，一会儿呢，屏幕上在底下就可以看到这些啊，寄给我们这个地址，同时也可以用你的信用卡或者是 PayPal 或者 Western Union 都可以呢做奉献给我们教会，请你帮助我们。Un momento da verás la dirección donde se puede enviar el dinero a través de tarjeta de crédito de PayPal o a Western Union, pero o las mandó en dinero dólares, pero si no da vienen pronto la dirección y la pantalla. So keep watching and that. Information will come up on the screen in just a moment. So, continue to watch. 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 Watch.